I'm not really sure about this lighting, but Jack and I are actually heading out for our we're heading out for our Valentine's meal. So today's Sunday. We had to move it from Saturday to Sunday because we went out with our friends yesterday. We are having our Valentine's meal tonight. I'm very, very excited. We're going somewhere new, so I thought I would bring you guys along and just show you guys the food. Um, I feel like we've we've been out for a meal three times this week, which is just even twice a week is unheard of, but three times is a lot. Um, it's actually good because neither Jack and I enjoy cooking, so I'm happy for other people to cook for us. Anyway, I'll catch up with you all in a bit. car park um i've had a filming day running some errands earlier on i thought um towards the end of the towards the end of the afternoon i will head down to ikea and have a little look around it's been about a year since i've been here um yeah such a long time i just it's really it's quite out of the way so i just never can be bothered to come <laughs> I thought I'd take you guys along to Ikea as well because I just haven't been round. I want to see if they've got any new new in stuff. Um, we've run out of glasses. I don't know what keeps happening to all of our glasses, um, like wine glasses, normal glasses. We've literally run out. We have like three. I think we keep smashing them. <laughs> but anyway, so I need to top up on there. Um, I need to get a new print. So I'm going to buy some prints on Desenio this evening, but I need some frames. So I'm going to buy some frames, have a look at them. Um, it looks really, really busy and I'm confused why, they're so, why it's so busy. But I think, because I've seen ch children about, uh, I think it might be half term. So yeah, let's go to Ikea. Just like a vibe, you broke the coldness And I'm going to show you what I got. Um, but before I do get started, I need to. I want to unbox a few PR packages. Well, one PR package, and I have. Is it even mine? Yeah, it is mine. And then I have a package here, which I don't know what it is. So I thought we could unbox it together. Um, so yeah, I had a successful trip in IKEA. Um, I managed to get most of the things which I wanted, apart from the. Um, glasses they were completely out of stock of the glasses of the glasses so yeah i have to come back for that anyway um first packet is from garnier and this is what's inside so we have the um gentle peeling water oh okay oh it's like a glycolic acid right okay i thought it was um I thought it was, well, I think it is micellar water, but it's also a glycolic acid. And then you've got the reusable eco pads. And, and then we've got the SPF here, which is like, which is my favorite SPF. I use it every day where I'm not wearing makeup. I'm really bad at putting it on underneath my makeup, to be fair, because I have extremely oily skin. So if I'm putting on um, an SPF, my, it could cause my makeup to move around. It's not mattifying, but it's nowhere as oily as like most SPS and it's also great if you have dark skin because it doesn't show um it doesn't leave like a white cast or anything like that so yeah I love this SPF I've just used it one started a new one so I'm glad that I have another one because I would have gone and bought it anyway and I'm going to get into this one here okay so this is the box here it's quite a nice box very colorful I still have no clue who this oh, yes of course I know who it's from oh I actually have a new wig which has just come through oh this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful oh I'm just to be honest I'm not going to show you guys any details I'll talk about this wig in another video because uh, it needs its own moment. Anyway, I'm going to show you all what I got from Ikea. So, one of the things was these bags here. 
I actually got three of these bags because um, I'm going to do a little bit of a sort out, a bit of a clear out. So um, I thought I'd get these clear bags here just so that I can um, pop some clothes or shoes in there and pop them and then and then put everything in the attic. So like I said, I got three of these bags here. Um, I got two wine glasses. That's what they look like because I have somehow smashed all the ones that I have. And I love these ones for um, wine. They're actually, I think, I think these are for red wine, but I drink rosé and I just drink it. I mean, like, who cares? I'm just drinking it in my house. Um, yeah, I like to break all the rules. <laughs> I got one of these chopping boards. So these are dishwasher safe. I got a toilet brush. I got a toilet brush. Final thing which I got were two of these frames. So um, these are the 50 by 70 frames. Um, I'm gonna order some prints from Decenio and pop them in here. They have like a dark brown um, frame um, and I was looking for some dark brown frames. Um, so I'm gonna order some Decenio prints for the spare bedroom and if I like the way that they come out, I might even order some for, I, I want a print, I want another print in my room and I want a print in the, um, on the stairs. Okay, so, um, randomly on my way back home, I was like, I really want to bake a lemon cake. Um, so basically, I just I was just in the mood to bake a cake. So I'm cooking tonight, but before I start cooking, I'm gonna make a lemon cake. And yeah, I'll pop you guys on a little time lapse and we can make the lemon cake together. few slices left but that lemon cake is just so good um i will leave the recipe for it in the description box so basically i follow mary berry's victoria sponge recipe which is very very simple very very basic however i add lemon syrup and um a squeeze of half a lemon in there and then um i make the whipped cream icing and then I also add lemon syrup and lemon juice within the whipped cream icing. And it's as simple as that. It's just the most beautiful light cake um, that isn't too sweet and it's just refreshing. So yeah, I will leave the details to all of that in the description box. I've just got off the phone to my wedding planner. So, ah, oh, wedding chat. Wedding update. Quite a few of you are getting married, so um, so you're enjoying the wedding chat. So yeah, let's just a quick little update. Um, I just got off the phone to my wedding planner. We weren't even sure whether we were going to have a wedding planner or not. And actually, having spoken to them, I'm so glad that we are getting a wedding planner. So um, we're getting the wedding coordinator planner. Um, I've done a lot of. I've done quite a bit of planning myself because I am that kind of person. I'm a Virgo, so I love being in control of everything. But I'm also very happy to let people who know what they're doing have control and take leadership on certain on certain aspects. Because I've never planned a wedding before. This is my first time being involved in a wedding because it's mine. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy to let professionals do what they do. We decided to go for a wedding planner slash coordinator who is out where we're having the wedding, not someone in the UK. Um, so yeah, just because we're not from the country, we don't know how things work out there and we just need somebody who lives there who can do everything there. I honestly wasn't sure whether it was something that we should do. Um, getting a planner but having spoke to them like I was on a call with them for two hours like two whole hours we were talking we were going through everything they were bringing up things that I wouldn't that I wouldn't have thought of 
and it just gets me all excited about planning this wedding. We are we've got loads of time and it means that we can do thing do things in a slow pace. And one thing that she told me, she was like, your wedding day is the best wedding day. Like she specifically said it's the hottest wedding day. Um not in terms of temperature, but I'm hoping it's gonna be hot too. But um she said it's a really, really good wedding day, and I was like I know when they gave me that day I was like oh my gosh Jack we cannot wait a single hour we need to book now so yeah I digress um so it was lovely speaking to the wedding planner um and yeah I'm so so excited but let me do an unboxing okay I'm gonna do an unboxing of um kind of luxury definitely luxury actually so i'm going to do a little luxury unboxing and it's from a brand which you've seen on my channel before but let me just let me let me just get on with it Ooh. the brand that i'm talking about is fair facts and favor so i am really excited to show you guys some new bits and some bits which i have had my eye on for a while from the brand so i picked up i got a pair of shoes and also a bag this is my first bag unboxing of the year let's start off with let's start off with the shoe unboxing both these items would work the bag is probably now spring the shoes are definitely spring it's too cold to wear them now so this is the box which the item came in Ooh, yes okay so these are the shoes here hopefully my camera yes there we go so they're a pair of suede brown shoes and they have like a navy trim with a navy bow hopefully it's coming across as navy and not black they are beautiful i mean suede it's a little bit dangerous going for a suede shoe um however i don't wouldn't wear these in the rain i wouldn't wear these in bad weather conditions anyway just because they are ballet flats and um, so that wasn't really like an issue for me but yeah i, I last year i got a pair of marks and spencer's ballet flats and they got me really into ballet flats i've had my eye on a pair of brown tan ballet flats for a long time um and then these oh, but I just love these, they're gorgeous. They're pretty much like a nude on my complexion, which is what I like. You guys, if you've been following me for a while, then you'll know that as we get towards spring, spring and summer, my shoe options are very limited in the sense that I only really like nude, like things which blend into my complexion. I don't know, there's just something about sandals and shoes about, there's just something about summer shoes. I like them to be a nude on my skin tone. I don't know why. Anyway, love these. I got them in my usual size seven. Hopefully they will fit. And then this is the box which the handbag came in. I love Fairfax and Favors boxes. I really, you can tell they've put a lot of thought into it. It just adds to the experience. I feel like when you're buying luxury products, um you want to have the full shebang and you certainly do get that with Fairfax and Favour. So this is how you open it. Ooh, this is beautiful. I can already tell this is a beauty. So the bag that I went for is this beauty here. Let me just hide myself. Oh, doesn't that look so luxurious? Right, I need to take that packaging off. So this is called the Highcliff Tan Suede Bag, I believe. I will link everything in the description box as always. And that's the back of it with the Fairfax and, with the Fairfax and Faber label. Oh, also ignore my nails. They've chipped off quite badly. But anyway, so inside, so inside the bag just has a magnetic closure which i love so easy so simple it's um leather up here there we go that's what the inside looks like it's a really nice bag it's just a really nice everyday bag that will go with all my outfits and even with what i'm wearing right now i can imagine myself just styling it with this bag here it's just a great everyday style and i do love um like a satchel style bag it's a really timeless design it's not like specific to any trend um which is always what we want you know sometimes 
I'm not against trends, but I'm not against trends, but sometimes it's nice to have something that's just gonna be timeless that you just know that you're gonna wear year on year. This is what the bag looks like. I've got it on quite a it's a slightly high crossbody, but I like high crossbody because I don't like the bag hitting my leg because it annoys me when I'm walking. Um but yeah, this is what the bag looks like. She's a beauty. It's just a really nice everyday bag. I'll have all of the details linked in the description box, as always, as always. So I've been in London for the last few days and whilst I was in London, I wanted to film a Zara come shop with me for TikTok. But I thought, why not show it on YouTube as well? So this is what I'm doing. First dress, which I'm trying is this blue dress. I've had my eye on this dress for a while. Um, didn't love it as much in person, but I do really like the halter neck. I think it's a really pretty design. I love the lower back. And overall, it fits really nice and the satin material actually doesn't feel cheap. Like, it feels nice. This suit. Oh my gosh, I love this yeah. suit. I love this suit and I really like it for a certain occasion. Um, I have an occasion in mind that I think this suit will really work for. Um, the quality was really good. The fit was really nice. And um, I tried the suit on... I think I got the blazer, I got the blazer in a large and the trousers in a medium. I love this top. The minute I saw it, I was like, I need to I need to try this top on. It's so yeah. nice. The only thing that I don't like about these tops is that you can't wear a bra with them. And I don't feel very comfortable doing it, that. It is double layered in the breast department, like the breast area. Um, and it does look and feel really nice. It's just one of those um easy tops that you can style with different things the thing i tried on was these trousers i've had my eyes on these trousers for a while i saw someone wearing them on tiktok and they fit her so well and i really like the way these trousers fit i think these would be a good pair of trousers for summer and also for the office they came in this cream color and also in black then i tried on this top uh, it's like a knitted top. I love the design of it. I think it's a really nice design. Um, I am wearing it with a bra, but to be honest, like if I moved an inch, you would be able to see my bra. So it's quite hard to wear this top with a bra. And then I tried on this dress. Um, it kind of gives me sister wives vibes. Um, yeah, don't love it. I, I just don't think it looks good on me uh yeah definitely gives me like sister wives vibes so yeah that was my little zara try i just noticed that i completely forgot to end this vlog so i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm currently in london on my way back home um you'll see what i get up to in the next vlog but i'm just editing it uh at the train station and i realized that i didn't finish the vlog so here i am saying goodbye thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video um yeah catch you all in my next one bye